Or are we doing like one of these or guys? Or one of these. Okay. Uh, oh, that seems yeah, that okay. better. Yeah, right? better. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Hey, brother, and happy Thanksgiving, everybody, and welcome to our now annual tradition of eating wings and taking a goblet of fire wings. We literally filmed this one month in advance of Thanksgiving so that our bodies have enough time to successfully process the trauma we're about to, you know, pass through. Um, I think the yeah. first year, yeah, we did it like the day before Thanksgiving, and yeah. it was like, oh, now I can't eat dinner. Yeah, and I was like, now I don't want food in my body for a while. <laughs> Oh man, we have once again made the just absolutely like questionable decision of upping the ante on just how hot the wing sauce actually is with our hottest wing sauce to date. So yeah. this is uh, the the bottle looks unassuming. I believe it's called like nothing but taco vibes. But I, let me tell you, I can see the pepper flakes from here and the smell is causing my stomach to quaver and my mouth to like salivate in anticipation. Yeah, it's it's like a noxious I know, smell. It's like, it's, uh, like, it's like, this is this is dangerful. Mm -hmm. I can't so, wait. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. We are incorporating each member of the team today, all of whom are going to be reading five questions each. It should be a good time. Let's go ahead and dive on. In case you guys are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Kangaroo Cat will be kicking things off for the SEB team, reading the first five questions. She's waving behind the camera, but you can't see her, but we can. She's going to be reading the first five questions that are all from Quizmasters over on Patreon. Ben and I have to answer everything completely from memory. And if we get something wrong, we have to eat one of the wings covered in the hot sauce. I like my, all day today, like I feel like I woke up and I was like trying to convince myself that I was ill. You know, it was like, <laughs> maybe I can't go to work today. No, no, no. Today's not the We're, day. Today's the day, Ben. We're gonna do it. As usual, if we have no idea, we can ask Kat for the multiple choice. If you'd like to play along, there is a link in the description down below and you can go buy some hot sauce from wherever you want and put them on your own wings and just have, j join in and all the fun. Enjoy. Yeah? Honor, honor, honor code. You must, you must eat the wings if you get it wrong. Yes, you should do this on Thanksgiving. It will make everything it. way more fun. Invite your whole family. Do it together. There you go, a family affair. The family that sweats together stays together. That's the phrase. That's the phrase. You should put that on a t-shirt. Yeah, put that on a shirt. <laughs> Let's dive on in. All righty, question number one. This Wait. question was submitted by Cliff. What was the result of Voldemort and Harry spells connecting? Cliff with one eye or, or one eye? <laughs> <laughs> Two Fs or one? Two Fs. Cliff. He's a cyclops. <laughs> Cliff. Cliff's a cyclops. Cliff's a cyclops. Oh man. Okay. 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 I think I got at least the first one right. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're gonna be good. I'm Sorry. Good read the question again. I'm so nervous. I feel like for some reason this is I'm it's like. It's not a trick question. No, okay. I know. I know. It's yeah. not a trick question. I feel like my brain is like is like screwing. I know. I and I'm like, like I'm like I don't even know if I have the second word right on this because like. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Okay. So we got it. Don't be fine. I know exactly what it is. Yeah. I know exactly what it is. We made a million videos about this. <laughs> this is a huge it's point. It's gonna be fine. All right. Ready? One, two, three. Priority and cantatum. Yes. Priority and cantatum is correct. Boom. All right. Okay. We dodged you round one. Cliff. Oh. <laughs> All right. Yep. Yeah, we started with the softball. Question number one and question number two. Oh God. Is maybe not the softest. Question number two. This question was submitted by Sarah Makiyama. What is the date of the second cast of the Triwizard Tournament? Oh no. <laughs> what is the date of the second task of the Triwizard Tournament? Yep. Gasp. Okay, so there's at least that. Gasp. <laughs> Gasp! <laughs> this is, I mean, this is what came to mind. I have no idea why. Okay. Um, you don't, do we, it don't need the year, right? Uh, yeah, year. Yes year? Yes year? I mean, you know what the year is, don't you? I mean, yes, but just seems like- The year in... The year is in the multiple choice answer. It is the same for all of the multiple choices, but- Okay, in that case, I feel like it, it matters less. It matters less. If, if, if they didn't give you different years, which is not really a problem, depending on how, but school year math is not not confusing sometimes. It is not not confusing. For example, I, was, I graduated oh, in the oh, class of 2008. Game. However, yeah. I started my senior year of high school in 2007. Yes, I right. think. Okay. Well, you know what I mean? I know what you mean. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh gosh. Hey, I, I, it's no pending. I do right not now. feel good about this. All right, you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. I said February 17th. I said February 21st. It's February 24th. No! no! 1995 is correct. 1995, oh, yes. Yeah, it is 1995. Uh, you said 20 and I was like, no. <laughs> it's four. It can't be. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh my gosh. Gosh, so you said, begins. I feel like you said like 20 and then like it, like my world went into slow motion. <laughs> it was like, do I, I have it? I did say it's slower than I normally do. Okay, so you did that on purpose. <laughs> you were bit, just sorry. dragging me. Okay. Just trying to make it more oh, fun for you, you know? Oh, wow. Oh, okay. that ended up good. I thought this was a smaller one, but it's not. Oh, yeah, careful of the... You just you just uh, damaged the disillusionment charm that we have on how this plate <laughs> situation works, oh, which is certainly precarious. I think mine might be bigger. No, no. All right, cheers. Cheers. Oh, I'm really hot. That's like instant heat. I can hear the like <laughs> sound effect that we use on this. I can't tell if my face is sweating already. Out of nerves or heat. I'm so dry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You say it's so dry the way. I can't swallow it. Oh no. Like keep chewing. Oh. Oh, there you go. <laughs> the second. swallow really hurts. Ooh. Okay, hiccups are here. <laughs> we knew they would. <laughs> it's okay. See, you're still chewing. <gasps> Ooh. Oh man! You did. You made it through the first swing. Bad oh, die. <laughs> it like... is getting bad fast. Oh no! <laughs> All right, question three. Let's go. <laughs> question number three. What's up, Dally? This question was submitted by Dola. <laughs> What material is Rita Skeeter's handbag made of? Uh, okay. It's gotta be that. Okay, I'm fine. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> One, two, three. Snake skin. Co crocodile skin. Ooh, no. it is crocodile skin. No! <laughs> Specifically crocodile, because <coughs> alligator was a wrong answer on here. Okay. All, All right. right. I'm in it. I'm in it to oh, win it. You got this. Okay. I told the guys yesterday, I was like, it's bad. It's worse than I thought it would be. <laughs> My nose was running. No, Wait. it tastes a lot better this time. It does. Oh, there you yeah. go. No, I think this is the best tasting sauce we've had yet. But it's, it's hot. It's very hot. My tongue like physically hurts. <laughs> oh, I'm getting the real forehead sweats. <laughs> Should we, should we bring in some, some paper towels? We're fine. We're it's fine. fine. I'm fine. All right. <gasps> question four. This question was submitted by Ferocious Pop Tart. Okay. Ferocious Pop Tart getting some real questions in. Uh, what do what does Ron suggest Hermione rename Spewa to? What does Ron? Would you like multiple choice? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. A House Elf Liberation Front. B, Society to Stop the Persecution of Magical Beings. C, House Elf, Goblin, and Other Magical Creatures Help Community. Or D, Magical Beings are People to Respect Society. Ugh. Okay. <gasps> I got the hiccups. Okay. Oh, they're really in the back of my tongue now. I'm feeling a little better. I feel like I'm coming down. You're coming down? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to It passes. <laughs> all right, ready? One, yeah. two, three. Hey. I said A. A is correct. Oh, oh they got. We're cruising now. Cruising. Bruising for a cruising. Bruising for a cruising. Cruising okay. for a bruising. How self You're liberation front? Burning. What is the context here? Because I feel like I remember him saying, or I remember how self liberation front. That actually sounds better. I don't feel like he like suggests a change. I feel like he just sort of is like, oh no, you're not on about the house elf liberation front again, are you? House oh. elf. Ah. How you doing? Certain shapes of my tongue hurt more. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm trying to avoid them. <laughs> <laughs> this is called flat tongue. They go, they go flat tongue. <laughs> Alrighty, question five. This question was submitted by Clara Del Vecchio. Oh, thanks Clara. How do you spell Clara? C-L-A-R-A. -A. In the first herbology lesson of the year, what plant did the class have to extract pus from? Oh, is it the same? Is the plant the same name as the pus? 
Yeah. I said, yeah. Right? right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the plant that we're, yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Booba tuba. Booba tubers is correct. All right. Booba tuba bus. I feel like Jim Dale goes real hard on the, uh, <laughs> the. Booba tubas. Booba tuba pus. Yeah. Pus. Finnegan pus. Like very, like, yeah. Like nasally this and whole, throaty yeah. at the same time. This whole scene is just to, supposed to establish Neville as good at herbology. Ah, mm-hmm. yes. So that Moody can try and get Harry to ask him, but it doesn't work. But it doesn't work. Mm. Doesn't yeah. work. My new favorite theory is that Neville was supposed to be closer friends with Harry, Ron, and Hermione in book one, <coughs> and that's why they had the uh, the devil snare. The devil snare, because yeah. he was supposed to be able to tackle that. Instead, it's a teamwork thing. Instead, it's a teamwork thing. That's true. Oh, right. I guess that also works well. Host change. Host change. Alrighty, and now introducing the newest member of our team, Isabel, to come read the next five questions. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure we added a clap track. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, like we'll celebrations. Sure, we'll make sure it gets in there. Confetti and all the rest. Yeah, shout out to Isabel, who is now uh, one of the new editors here at Super Carlin Brothers. You've already seen her work. She's doing a swimming week. Oh, thanks, guys. I just try, <laughs> I just try to keep swimming. <laughs> <laughs> this question was submitted by Ipiski. What prize did Ron win when his Niffler had been the most successful during Care of Magical Creatures? Okay. I think this is right. Yeah. I don't know how. Oh dear. Okay, hopefully this is right. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like I have like words that are correct. I, yeah, I think I'm there. All right, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. A slab of Honeydukes chocolate. Yes. The answer is Honeydukes chocolate. Yes! yes! Oh man, all right. You're really dodging some today, man. Oh man, I'm feeling good. I am feeling good. Making right up for, for our last episode where we almost both went 15 for 15. We did, but and then one I, of us tripped. At the, fin- the last question. We went 29 for 30, and mm-hmm. it was the last question. Yeah. I'm still not over it. Yeah. Huh? And it's been weeks I'm as far as the it. audience is I'm concerned. Not, I'm not over that last wing. <laughs> I know. I'm actually, I feel like I've had like plenty of time to recover. I'm almost hungry. Ben yeah. only had one, and it's just rubbing it in Jay's face. <laughs> yeah. Please do not rub the wings in each other's faces. Yeah. No, there will be no rubbing of the wings. <laughs> we have to have a, an OSHA person <laughs> present for today's episode. Yeah. No, no wings rubbed on faces. Okay, this next question was submitted by Tina's hot dog Sophie. What was the headline of the article written about Harry in which week? Hello, Tina's hot dog. Oh man, this is that's a Tina's hot dog reference Great. to this bizarre scene in Fantastic Beasts yeah. where for some reason Tina, who is like otherwise like a truly <laughs> lovable character, is eating a far far too mustard. That, that's how she's introduced too. You know, Catherine Waterson is it like. You want me to what? It's like, so the first thing they'll know about me is a Can lot. I wipe the mustard? No, keep, keep the mustard. Yeah, keep, okay. Okay, why not? All right. Okay, what but the I, I missed the whole question. Yeah, okay, what is the headline? <laughs> okay, okay. What was the headline of the article written about Harry in Witch Weekly? Oh, man. Jay is on this one. I don't on know. It. I don't know if I'm right. Oh. Mm. Uh, I don't even know if I have like a guess. Like I feel like I know what the articles include and entail. Can no. I take back my bragging? I don't get to do it very often. Um, I don't even know if I'm right. I just have a guess. I feel like all uh, like the boy who lied. I need to say it out loud because I right. feel like that's like the daily that's prophet. Wrong, yeah. That's how they like describe him. Yeah. Eventually, for the first one, it feels like the daily <coughs> prophet is reporting on who the champions are, and they like spell Cedric's name wrong last in like the last line of the sentence. Yeah. Like Harry's is sort that- of like. That's the Daily Prophet, though. That's the Daily Prophet. This is Witch Weekly. So this is the one that has to do with Hermione? I think so. That's what I'm remembering. It's really the pepper at the back of the throat. It's like, hey, did you forget what pepper tastes like? Here you go. Here it is. I don't have a good guess, and I'm just, I know that I'm I'm doomed. So. Okay. One, two, three. It's like heartbreak at Hogwarts. Oh, I was really. You were both very close. Ugh. 
It is Harry Potter's secret heartache. Oh, oh man, man, we both had a heartbreak right there. We knew the the yeast of it. You had the, the yes. genre correct. I'm the had the genre. All right, all right. Well, Cheers. I don't feel that bad for you because you're only at number two. How is it? Getting worse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what I thought you were going to say. Yeah, I thought you were going to be like, oh, I'm it's fine. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> Whew, you know what? I'm mostly numb. I think that's, I, yeah. Mm. I'm basically there. <laughs> mm, aftershocks. <laughs> A I'm technical getting, term for it. Mm -hmm. It's like there gets some stuck up in the molars. <clears throat> <clears throat> the vindictive <laughs> laugh from Isabel. <laughs> like no I've sympathy. I uh, know. Years to be sitting right here. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, this is a cool thing. So Isabel had photos of us from where she had met us in the wild, pre-working here, which was <sighs> pretty cool. <sighs> I hope we can show those now, Isabel, if that's okay. Sure, on screen. Okay, okay. are you guys ready? Yeah. All no. right. This question was submitted by Maddie DeVerve. Did I say that one right? Maddie DeVerve. DeVerve. It's an R, but it is DeVerve. When Mrs. Weasley picks up one of Fred and George's fake wands, what did it turn into? I fear I'm incorrect. But it's... I'm like... I, like, I just have to trust my instincts because my brain is not braining right now. It's like, I hey, you're like, on fire. I literally was like, like, I, I ate my second one. <clears throat> and I was like, wow, I'm surprised at how okay I am. And it is getting really bad really fast. Like, yeah. like in the time it took me to answer that question, I felt like I went from like a 7 to a 9.7. Is your tongue feeling numb? You had to flat tongue it? No, I can feel my tongue and it hurts. Yeah. Swollen. I also feel it in my ears. Ah. Okay, ready? You know what's great is ear sweat. Yeah. All right. One, two, three. A rubber chicken. A rubber mouse. A I, I almost put mouse. I was like, pile of mice? That doesn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> that can't be it. It's just a pile of mice. Oh, oh man. How much worse can it get though, right guys? How much worse? You come over here and find out. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I got your pile of mice. <laughs> Look, I got a bunch of fake wands here. Pile of mice. Okay, band name. <laughs> oh. I feel like this one's gonna be bad. Ben, I feel like you're just making it harder on yourself by tackling it that way. I'm going for multiple bites. I have small mouth volume. Has this ever happened to you? Running late for work, got to tie your tie, but you just can't get the whole slice of pizza in your mouth? You might have SMV, or small mouth volume. If you just can't get the whole taco to go down, ask your doctor about once daily Rylogen. So the next time you have to take a whole rack of ribs at a barbecue, you're set. Side effects include nausea, heartburn, ingestion, upset stomach, and having cancer, dollars from less, because you're afraid of what will happen to you in the pool. Rylogen, take pizza back. But you're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like having to eat too. Ooh. Sometimes I get to the, I get to the swallow, and I'm thinking it's all gonna be out of my mouth, and then it all hits my throat at the same time. It's kind of like spread out in my mouth, and it's like, you know. Oh. Ooh. You know what? I'll wake you up in the morning. Some hot wings. It's not morning though. OSHA says don't eat these in the morning. <laughs> Yeah, full stomachs is best. Uh, I'm still not done. I'm literally about to start drooling. <laughs> he has, he has Let's go. Yeah. Okay, next question. Okay, all right. This question was submitted by Rainy Rain. Who did Arthur borrow the magical tent from? Oh, what's his name? I'm tipping my head back. To keep what? The fluids in my face. What is this guy's name? <laughs> Arthur has like one co-worker. Lumbago? Mm. I remembered it. Okay, you ready? No. no. Okay, oh, I thought you had it immediately. <sighs> My nose is running. I know. I feel I'm like just I have thinking less... about how... Huh? 
I was, I was just thinking about how spicy, like, the tiny drop was. I'm like, what is going on in your guys' mouths right now? <laughs> if you've ever sat next to a campfire... Cut the clip of Neville Imagine... Oh, <laughs> instead of sitting next to it... <laughs> you were eating it. <laughs> and then instead of eating it... <laughs> you ate a lot of it. Okay, I'm having an issue Jay, where... Jay's spice-induced drunkenness is my favorite thing. <laughs> I mean, it's alcohol. I'm being reminded of this is all you need. Elemental, where he eats like the, oh, the, yeah, the coal yeah. nuts. <laughs> See, he likes it. Yeah, it's so good. Um, no, the other issue I'm having is our grandfather's best friend is a boat mechanic, and his name is Tom Sherman. <laughs> <laughs> and for some reason, I'm thinking Arthur Weasley <clears throat> borrowed his tent from our grandfather's best friend, Tom Sherman, the boat mechanic. Is there any chance that I'm the real covering. name is close to Tom Sherman? No. Watch me be wrong. <laughs> I'm so confident right now. <sighs> okay. Stop and think. You got this. His name. will come to you. You got it? No! What was this part? Rainy, rainy rain? Rainy rain. I just want to let you know, Rainy Rain, this is a completely reasonable question that on a good day I would know the answer to. When your brain wasn't thinking about tongue fire. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doomed because all I can think of is Tom Sherman, so. That's how I So, hang on. Please guess that, Ben. Please. Okay. Ready? Yeah. I thought it came to my brain. <laughs> there was it. Wait a like, minute. His name is... One, two, three. Perkins. Perkins. It is Perkins. Yes. <laughs> but what oh, is his first? Ben Sherman. Kind of close. What's his first name? Just Perkins. I think they only ever just oh, call him Perkins. Perkins. Well, that was my first problem. <laughs> I thought he had two names. Yeah, you're going for a double name. <laughs> All right, that's it. Boat Sherman. Okay. Well, before I eat this next wing, I'm taking a, I'm taking a quick little, you know. A jaunt to suffer. Yeah. Well, Let's sit with my thoughts. I'll be back. Hello and welcome everybody to the scenic route where guys, I gotta tell you today, I am just so tremendously grateful to be able to take a few steps away from the table, from the heat of the wings, to come out here and spend some joyous time surrounded by all of you. And to tell you about today's sponsor, Ridge. Now, I've gotta tell you guys, I have been a huge fan of Ridge wallets for a long time because their products are simple in design, they're beautiful, but most importantly, highly functional. Now, if you're unfamiliar, a Ridge wallet is rather minimal in design, but don't let that fool you because these things can get a lot done. Now, Jay is all about minimal carry and would scoff to know that my wallet contains 10 cards, not even counting my personal ID, but that's no problem because the Ridge wallet can carry all of that and then some, up to 12 cards with room for cash still, while still maintaining a sleek form factor. Plus, they just added a brand new product, which is like one of those things that like I never knew that I always needed, but it's their key case. So you can now match your wallet seamlessly and get rid of that like dreaded key jingle. They've also got an awesome selection of AirTag related attachments for all relevant products. So whether you're at the airport or simply inside your couch, your wallet will never be lost again. Ridge wallets also make a fantastic gift because you can personalize all of their products. Really, it's just a home run, trust me. So shop the holiday sale by going to ridge.com super and get up to 30% off through December 20th. And when you use our link, you can enter for a free chance to win a Ridge bundle worth $4,000. Again, that's going to be ridge.com slash super for up to 30% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Boy, how do you guys? I am glad to be recording this far away from the present because it means I'm not around those not so sweet, spicy wings, which is just a much more comfortable state of existence. But not as comfy as today's sponsor, Me Undies. Cause look, if you don't know, Me Undies is the softest, most comfortable under britches experience I've ever had. Whether you're out hard at work, eating flaming hot wings for the enjoyment of people on the internet, or just at home, cozied up on the couch, arguing with your family about whether or not Harry Potter is a Christmas movie, they've got you covered. It's not, by the way, but I do still watch it at Christmas. I can have it both ways. But it's more than just undies. They've also got loungewear, hoodies, joggers, onesies. Oh, yeah. 
and more. Seriously, guys, it is like unmatched comfort. You cannot go wrong. It is all I have in my underwear drawer anymore. And it's easy to fill up that drawer with the monthly subscription. It means total comfort seven days a week. And it means you can take advantage of all the different seasonal prints. I mean, you can be festive right on cue. St. Patrick's Day, we got shamrocks. Halloween, we got spooky little ghosts. Christmas, we got Grogu wearing Santa hats. Seriously, it is unmatched comfort. And if you want to get 25% off your first order, plus free shipping, you can head over to meundies.com slash jverseb. One more time, that is meundies.com slash jverseb for 25% off your first order and free shipping. Me undies comfort from the outside in. All right, how's your tongue feeling? You well, were gone for a really long time. I want to let people know, not to, not to g give away too much about how the sausage is made, but when I leave to do those, I actually just go like right there. There's just a wall and then we come back, but then later we'll record the ad. So like that version of me won't have the hot spice, but. Or we can make it, we can make it happen. This version of me has had no relief whatsoever. And now I'm due for another week. So here we go. Yeah. A small one. Okay, yeah, this kind of looks good. Kind of on your side, but it feels a little bit like a Oh, bigger. it has like a hidden tail. A little bit of a hidden tail there. Uh -huh. That's a, yeah. the Hungarian horn tail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gives you similar breath. Man, okay, here we go. Dude, this is sucked. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think is worse, this year or last year's? Right, right now, this year feels worse. That's well fair. I would say this is still the best tasting one. My mm. mouth is starting to calm down again. I'm back to a happy place, maybe. What about question 10? Just think of the ice cream in like five-ish questions. Yeah, five-ish questions. I'm looking forward to- What do you mean by ish? I'm looking forward to having a questioner who doesn't seem so happy about our pain. <laughs> I just locked eyes with Ethan from across the room. He just gave me a solemn, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Prepare to eat more, boys. I think everybody in here is enjoying your guys' pain, except okay. for you. Thank you. Thanks. I'm doing okay. This is all for you guys. Everyone, please subscribe. <laughs> all right. This question was submitted by Dola. Who asks Angelina to the Yule Ball? Oh, man. Okay. Got it. One, two, three. Frederick. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, thank goodness. She knew it was a coin flip. Oi, Angelina. Touch the ball with me. Someone. Uh, uh, there you go. Someone, one of our fans once upon a time told me about how Fred <coughs> is like the, like, I, and I try not to toss this around because I'm sure if you're a twin, Jay has twins, you don't like the idea of like an alpha twin, which right. doesn't seem right. It's purely all I'm trying to say is Fred seems to lead conversations more. Yeah, with Fred and George. With Fred and George, yeah. yeah. It seems like he he's usually the one to speak first. Except, the last one. except who speaks to Harry first. Which, which is, George. is George. Yeah. Yeah, he, uh, he takes the lead on that one. We Go know that George. one. Yeah. I can see the reflection on my forehead. Yeah, you 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 have become a reflective surface. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like a globe. Yeah, you're like Left a globe. Harry Potter entered twilight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that has begun to glisten. Entering in the Cedric phase of the quiz. This is the skin of a killer, Bill. I feel like I'm seeing spots a little bit. Oh, that's a good <laughs> sign. The pepper flakes have entered Ben's eyes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're gonna... Uh, Osho, I'd like to remind you to not put pepper flakes in your eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, guys, sorry, Ethan stepped out. This is uh, Rick, the OSHA inspector. He <laughs> has the next five questions. <laughs> Question number 11, <laughs> submitted by Law Ninja. What color does the potion turn to revive Voldemort? Sorry, what color does the potion to revive Voldemort turn after Wormtail adds Harry's blood? Buh. I'm not gonna do that for the next four. Uh, that's already. a lot. No, that's not right. I'm not gonna lie, color feels like the wrong word. All right, I'm in. I think, maybe. Are you good? Do you have a color written down? No, I'm not good. Because all I have is a modifier and I don't have a color and nothing comes to mind and I'm like in pain. Yeah. Prolonging it won't help, Ben. I keep thinking I'm fine. I think it's begun to enter my stomach. My stomach is, is onto the game now. It's like, hey, this doesn't feel good. <sighs> Only five questions left. Four after three. this. I know, yeah. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. I said an emerald green. I said crystals? Pearl? Pearl being the color. Oh, it's like she's like shimmering diamonds, isn't it? The answer I have written is blinding white. Blinding white! Wow, so like, not emerald green. Like most pearls. Here we're, we go. We both got it wrong. 
Back into the fire. Mm. How's yours look? Mine looks fine. Ready? Cheers. Wait, what are we doing? Oh, if you were gonna feed it, then I could head you the fork, I guess. Or are we doing like one of these or guys? Or one of these. Okay. Uh, oh, that's yeah, exactly okay. Yeah, yeah, better, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Amazing. It got on my lips. Oh, it no. did. It oh, did. It's still there. Oh, no. Don't OSHA cannot so recommend much. getting the sauce on your lips. That's very bad for you. That's not fun. But now, I think we kill Isabel. I'm fine. This one's good. How are your lips? Fine. You know what? That one really was okay. Um, maybe I'm gonna, maybe I've ascended to a new plane of existence. No. Yeah? You're not there. No. I'm definitely not there, and I don't think you're there. No, <laughs> I'm here? I'm, I'm here. This is gonna hit you. It's gonna hit me? It's gonna hit me tonight at like midnight, so it's gonna happen. <laughs> That's when the real game starts, y'all. You, you don't get that footage. <laughs> I already canceled my daughter's swim lessons tomorrow morning. Oh. Because I was like, there's no way in the world I'm gonna be able to go and be in a pool. <laughs> <laughs> Not risking it. <laughs> Addie, what happened? <laughs> Made me laugh so hard that it went in my nose. <laughs> We're getting bent on everything. He's on his lips, his nose, <laughs> the pool. <laughs> I have tears. Yeah. <laughs> Your tears have the sauce in them. Yeah. Okay. Are we going 13? 12. Oh, man. <laughs> Question it. number 12. This is submitted by Neil G. Which day in October did the other two schools show up at Hogwarts? No! This is a number. Okay, no, fine. Question 13. <laughs> no. <laughs> What day in October? What day in October? Your multiple choice is, is 31 different answers. <laughs> I'm kidding. There is a okay. multiple choice. Okay. I'm trying to think. <laughs> I have reasons. I mean, I have a tear. Can you see it? I see it. I have, I have multiple. I'm there. I think I'm there. I think I've got it. Pun intended. I have multiple schools of thought. Ha ha! That is a great pun right now. It is. Dude. Maybe you have achieved a new plane. Maybe I have. Yeah. You, know, where pun you can see the puns. Yeah, I'm like, I have like risen above. Like a guy who just made his connecting flight, he's on a new plane. Wow. Wow. No, that wasn't good. You need to come eat some wings. I have two thoughts. Yeah. One of them is this. Sure. The other one is this. Okay, well, it might be this or that. <laughs> I learned the other day, because sometimes when you have twins, you'll like try and come up with like names to call them <clears throat> when they're just sort of like bumbling around. And so like frickin' frat comes up, and that sounds like, that sounds like such a mean thing. Like, am I accidentally calling my twins mean things? But in fact, frickin' frack were just an ice dancing duo. Oh! So, no. Yeah. Okay. Not. <clears throat> All right, you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. 31! 31. It is 30. No, it is not! Why is it 30? Why is the Halloween feast not on Halloween? It's not a Halloween feast. They arrive the day before Halloween, and then the Halloween feast is the day that they do the drawing of the names. It's one day later? It's one day later. I was very shocked when I listened to it this past go round. It's like, one day? A whole month! One day. I thought it was like a week. That's such bananas. And it's, there's always something on Halloween, man. I thought it was Halloween. It this wasn't. Is, what is the current score? Six to six. Wow, we have missed a lot. Like close to half. Exactly. It's a, it's yeah, a wee exactly half. You got a wee one. I got a wee one. You got a wee one. I got a, 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 a middle wee one. It's kind of cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cute things can't hurt you. It'll be fine. We'll see how long he gets his cute for. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's cute, like the the bunny in the uh, Tis but a scratch. What's that thing? Monty Python. Monty Python. It's like the little rabbit, Monty Python. It's cute, and then it attacks you. The whole rabbit. All the Count to three. <laughs> Not four. Or two. I want it to be done Unless so. Unless then one proceeds to three. <laughs> Which is the best part of that. <laughs> <laughs> then he still gets it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite color? <laughs> Blue. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How can you get it wrong? <laughs> <clears throat> what is your favorite color? Blue. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> Why are they most orange? Oh, it's not orange. Hmm. It's blue. Mine's green. We're wearing That's yeah, really shirts. weird for me to have a dress. I came dressed for the occasion. Mine because little... snakes famously love hot wings. I have little skulls all over mine. Oh. So, yeah, like that. Out. And flowers. <laughs> You think if you fed a snake a hot wing, it would just be like... Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it's that, that really beloved sequel to If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. <laughs> give a snake a hot wing. It'll turn inside out. Yeah. <laughs> Question number 13, which was submitted by Hannah Gear. <clears throat> what was sustaining Voldemort when he was staying at the Riddle House? I feel like this is right. I think so. Oh, wait. Yeah. Right? No. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Venom from Nagini. Venom from Nagini. It was Venom from Nagini. Boom! I was that, afraid it was Nagini <coughs> milk, and I was like, please don't be Nagini milk. That good, good snake milk. <laughs> well, he doesn't say, who would milk Nagini? And it's like, what? But what he means is, cluck for venom. Mm. Yeah, don't ever, yeah, it's just, it's just don't, I don't want to think about it. Don't talk about milk and the snakes. There's <laughs> one thing I don't like talking about is snake milk. Ironically, coincidentally, something I am looking forward to milk after this. Snake milk. What what is, not snake milk. Snake milk. <laughs> what is, so what are the folks? What, what is it in? Always sunny, like crow's milk. <laughs> what? And always sunny in Philadelphia. Don't they have like crow's milk or something? Is that a thing? Talking about fight milk. Fight milk. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Fight milk. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm losing a bad. Question number 14, <clears throat> submitted by Geekbox. On the day the Weasley family picks Harry up from Privet Drive, what is Dudley having for lunch? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Geekbox, that's evil. Okay. Okay. Ugh. On the day. On the day. In which? Maybe it's it's not hot wings. No, it's for hot, fresh snake milk. <laughs> Why would it be hot? All right, ready? Yeah. All right, three, two, one. A uh, grapefruit. Slice of grapefruit. Uh, the answer is cottage cheese and grated celery. Cottage cheese? No! Is such a grapefruit, man. Yeah, that's breakfast. <sighs> I believe that is breakfast. Of the this same is day. the worst game ever. Oh, it's such a longy. <laughs> a longy. <laughs> Look at it. I hate, Look at the link. I hate that description. <laughs> More than hot snake milk. Here's the song. A longy. <laughs> okay. The dread in Ben's eyes. It's doing. It's pretty big. Oh, this is the most. <laughs> Ben, that's a huge win. I know. Two bites again. <laughs> Old two bite Ben strikes again. Who bite Ben? Strike again. I don't even know if there's new pain to be had. <laughs> now it's just sustained. He's experienced all of the pain. <sighs> Whew. Okay. That one had a renewed burst to it. You know what I mean? Are we tied? Yeah. Oh, so we've eaten the same number. Yep. I'm tired of eating. Yeah, I'm just full. Speaking of ties. <clears throat> tired. Oh. Huh. Well, how many questions do we have left? One. Oh, thank God. Is it hard? Yeah. 
Yeah. No! <laughs> it's not It's not the hardest. It's not the, the last two either. have been so bad because I really thought I had it. You got the snake milk question, Got right? snake milk. It's in my stomach. Oh, yeah. You can feel it now? Oh, yeah. You feel the old stomach boils? <clears throat> okay. You are now okay. quite glisteny. Last one. Last one! We've almost made it to the end, Ben. This question was submitted by Law Ninja. What book does Neville receive from Professor Moody? You know it. You just know it off the top of your head. I don't know. I know pieces of it. I know, I think there's a modifier at the beginning that I don't know. Um, I, this is like a... Mm. Oh, what is it? What is it called? I know the gist of it. Oh man, I really don't. I don't. I so badly don't want to have to do another one. <laughs> it's something like this. All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. That's like magical plants and fauna of Great Britain. I said the freshwater plants of the Mediterranean. It is. Magical water plants of the Mediterranean. Oh. <laughs> that more to bend, but <laughs> closer. We knew it was like an of a place, and that it meant pl magical plants. What you said? Ma what was the answer? Magical water plants of the Mediterranean. I had magical plants of, and I had of the Mediterranean. I think freshwater so, plants of the Mediterranean is just like a normal book for <laughs> Yeah, that's just, that's a mongle book. That's a got coffee there. table book. <laughs> All right, last one. Here we go, we can do it, and then we're clear. Then we just go to the outro. You know what's gonna not be clear? Yeah. Yeah. Your vision. The pool one. <laughs> <laughs> People are unsubscribing at this point. They're like, we're outie. <laughs> no more. <laughs> <laughs> We've already picked all those out, man. Get yourself a good law <laughs> and be done with it. <laughs> okay, here we go. I don't want to. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I well, burned a hole in the rug. <laughs> yeah. And the room's on so fire. Really all right. Yeah. Yeah, it hurts. Uh, OSHA cannot recommend dropping those on the floor. They will catch the carpet <laughs> on fire. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Are you ready? No, me neither. Cool. You can do it. Oh, boom. I'm having to, like, seriously psych myself up. You can do it. Mark one, boom. The yes, quicker you eat it, the quicker the snake milk happens. This. <laughs> this one's so big. Do you like your milk now? No. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> I really have my nose this time. I'm fighting multiple battles right now. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. Talk me through it. Simply too much food. Simply too much food. Don't scream. That food itself is extremely hot. <laughs> <laughs> and now we need to give a huge thank you to these quiz masters who support us over on Patreon. Huge shout out to Cliff, Sarah Makiyama, Dola, Ferocious Pop Tart, Clara Del Vecchio, Episky, Tina's Hot Dog, Sophie, you know. Tina's Hot Dog Sophie, Maddie DeVerve, Rainy Rain, Law Ninja, Neil G, Hannah Gear, and Geekbox. If you too would like to try to stump us in a future episode of J vs. Ben, you can do so by heading over to patreon.com slash supercarlinbrothers and selecting the Quizmasters tier. My mouth hurts. Well, hopefully you did better than us on this particular quiz. I didn't have to suffer through so many hot wings. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for making us a part of your special day. Go watch some football and eat some pumpkin pie. Until next time, bye! Bye. bye.